a part of our NDTV Grand First Mission Energy campaign, we bring you a special report on how sustainable building construction can help us reduce pressure on our fast depleting non-renewable sources. As India's building sector grows, so is energy consumption. Buildings consume 30% of total global energy usage. An average commercial building uses up approximately 260 kilowatt hour per square meter of electricity in a year, out of which 50 to 60% is used by air conditioners, 20 to 35% is used by lighting, and 20 to 35% by other equipment. To avoid such energy wastage, buildings need to use low cost, locally available resources. The Irad building in Gurgaon is one such example of a net zero energy building. A building which generates more energy than it consumes. Combining design and technical innovations, it has solar panels, wastewater recycling, specially designed window shades, insulated walls. There is an almost 30% reduction in CO2 emissions as compared to the other buildings in the vicinity. Number two, we are saving almost 25% energy because and solar is contributing 30 to 40 percent um, you know uh, energy requirements are met through the solar and uh, in terms of water yes uh, we are self-sufficient almost 80 percent of our requirements are met through the rainwater um, that we harvest first thing to decide is how much do we really need what is it that is sufficient once we have defined that then we can talk about making buildings efficient. The architect doesn't actually have very much control over what people do inside. This is why I was saying we need to define for ourselves. So the architect can think about, you know, uh, air conditioning and lighting. Those are the two things which are important in the, in the building. The government has also undertaken efforts like introducing Energy Conservation Building Code, which has been developed by the Bureau of Energy Efficiency to prescribe a minimum standard of energy use in new buildings. It is said that the national power demand can be reduced by as much as 25% by 2030. Let's hope that improving energy efficiency in buildings and operations will contribute to such favourable results. With camera person Azam Siddiqui and Devanjana Moitra, Aruna Bose for NDTV.